What's up, Pizza Hall? It's the Palermo Pizzeria. Here on Page Avenue in this monstrous shopping plaza. It's a pretty new restaurant. And I got some really rare pizza, guys. Staten Island, known for its Verrazano Bridge, its beautiful parks, its 110-year-old lighthouse, its beautiful swampland and parkland, its wild, crazy weather conditions, beautiful parks, beautiful waterfalls in nature, and wildlife, but also for its sfinchoni, a traditional, authentic Sicilian pizza. I cannot find this pizza anywhere anymore except in Staten Island. Come and sit alongside me as I sample some rare Sicilian pizza. Let's go eat. All right, guys, let's get to it, shall we? 14 bucks, guys. 14 bucks for two pieces of sfinchone, which looks absolutely fantastic. And I got two cheesies, I got their regular slices, I figure I'd try these out. And we'll judge the place based on their cheese slices and what they specialize in, guys. Sfinchone. We're gonna try the cheese first, guys. Nice crackling on the bend, a little crackle, a little popping. Nice on the fold, a little, whoa! Nice and firm, nice on the carriage. Okay. Really juicy pizza, guys, juicy. What I mean by juicy is nice amount of cheese and a nice amount of sauce, which, you know, with New York slice, with New York style pizza, very often you find that the pizza is dry. Not the case. All right, guys, back in the vehicle. I almost got knocked out by the pizza box. <laughs> Let's give this crust a little taste. It's not a greasy pizza. I like the cheese. Good funk from that cheese, guys. Nice color on that mozz. Good little moisture mozzarella. If you guys noticed, he, the, the guy that made the pizza put a nice generous dusting of hard cheese on the sauce before applying the mozzarella. You know how much I love that. They're not cutting corners here at this place at Palermo's. Uh, but the crust isn't the greatest. It's not the worst. Chew is significant, uh, nice undercarriage, cooked well. On to the main event, guys. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Guys, no wonder this thing cost, I don't know, $4 at least. Oh, this thing is hefty, baby. Mmm. Uh, true Cinchoni is not supposed to have mozzarella on it. They did put a nice layer, thick, gooey layer of mozzarella cheese on this. Uh, supposedly, you know, people want mozzarella cheese in this country. They, but traditionally, it's just breadcrumb, chunks of tomato, onion, and anchovies. Mmm. Moderate crisp on the bottom. Moderate crisp. Look at that char on the corner there, baby. Mmm. Got a little bit of that anchovy flavor. If you guys love anchovies, you're gonna love this pizza. The anchovies are supposed to be dissolved and you saute the onions in that anchovy oil. You dissolve the anchovies in olive oil, you saute the onions, you throw some chunks of tomato into the mix, and then you throw the breadcrumbs and you, the breadcrumbs soak up all that flavor. All that anchovy flavor and the, and the onion, the sweet onion, the sauce, excellent combination of flavor. A traditional recipe here, guys, that stood the test of time in Sicily, carried over into these parts, and you can't find this stuff anymore. This is a dying breed, and you know what the guy said in there? I told him that, I said, this style of pizza is a dying breed. And the guy inside, he was an Italian-American man, he said, so are we. We're dying breeds, too. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you say we move in to the lab and dissect these beautiful pizzas before us, guys? This one's going to be a little tough to score 
because I love the cheese, nice and salty slice. You know how much I love that one. You know how much I love a salty New York cheesy slice, guys. I thought that it was juicy, as you can see here, made evident by the amount of sauce on this pizza. Not really the driest New York cheese slice. A lot of cheese pizzas here in New York tend to be a little dry, especially towards the back. This one wasn't too bad, guys. It wasn't too bad. I just did not like the crust. I mean, it wasn't the worst. The chew was uh, moderate to significant uh, aeration. Not really... I wouldn't consider this a moderate aeration. It's a little on the dense side, uh, but it was light. It was light, strange enough, strangely enough, it was light. Nice crackling as you move it around. Uh, it has cooled down a bit, but uh, it's still crackling as you touch it. Uh, not greasy, good low moisture mozzarella, good flavor, crust needs work. The sauce wasn't too tart, uh, not too tart, a little on the sweet side, but uh, did have some tang to it. It's a little dark, the sauce is a little dark on the burgundy side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold, we give it another fold, guys. This thing has lost most of its crisp, maybe a little bit towards the end. Still holding up, nice and firm. I, crust isn't that bad, it's average. The crust is average. On, like, let's say, a Lenny's level, or a J&V. 7.6, guys, for the Palermo cheese pizza. 7.6, which is kind of like the average score here in New York City for a cheese slice, for, for a quintessential cheese slice. 7.6, that's the average, that's, that's good freaking pizza. That's what that score tells me, good freaking pizza. The dying breed. Reminds me of a Romana. What do you say we get in for a closer look, guys? Now, this was never my favorite type of pizza. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat. But if you want something different, if you're looking for something different, something different, you want something with cheese on it, you want pizza, you want something hearty, you want something with sauce on it, but you want something different. And what I mean by different, guys, is a heaping pile of sweet onions. Look at all those beautiful thick slabs of borderline caramelized onions. They're very sweet. And you get the salt from all of that grated cheese and the anchovies. Gives it a really good contrast of sweet and saltiness. The tomato adds an extra element of flavor, although I feel like it needs a little more. Because the breadcrumbs, even though they're soaked in oil and flavor and olive oil, and all those things. Uh, I think a little extra tomato sauce, as you can see there, as I pull apart the onions, uh, would have uh, helped. A little more. A little more. It wasn't exactly dry, not by far. I wouldn't consider this dry, but there are some spots, guys, where you're getting nothing but breadcrumb and onion. You know, and, and you kind of want more of that chunky tomato sauce, which gave it an extra bit of sweetness. A little tomato tang. Uh, really delicious pizza here, guys. I, I really am very happy with the way uh, they topped this thing because it's generously topped with both breadcrumb and onion. Let's see if we could find some anchovies because the grated cheese is there. There's some on the onion. Some nice, nice, salty, hard pecorino or palm, not sure. Here we have one. There we have an anchovy, guys. little piece of anchovy there. This is a wonderful pizza, guys. Again, not my favorite it's, you know, I'm not really a toppings guy, and uh, this here is a different type of finchoni with the mozzarella, but a very delicious experience, and something that you order once in a while when you want to throw yourself a curveball. My issue here with this pizza is that, as you see the dough, it's a little spongy. A little spongy. I don't see too many big air pockets. When I throw out the number, it's going on the specialty scale. I'll tell you why, because of the anchovies. Aside from that, uh, it's got uh, the three components of a pizza, which is, you know, bread, in this case, bread and bread crumb, sauce, and cheese. And so I was thinking, maybe I'll put it on my normal scale, but there's anchovies on it. And the amount of onion, I was thinking, all right, onions like garlic and basil, it doesn't count as a topping, but there's so much onion on this pizza that you, you have to consider that. And of course, the anchovies, so uh, yeah. Yeah. This is going on the specialty scale, guys. I'm gonna give this thing a freaking solid 
7.9. The crust wasn't the best, even though there was some char on it. Uh, it was a little dense, a little flaccid, but uh, it, in some parts, the crunch on the bottom was there. Guys, uh, even though it's not the eight, which is usually the score I give for pizza that you travel to and you cross a bridge for, you drive an hour for, Still, where are you going to find Sfinchon in the city? It's so rare. It's like limited to Staten Island. I've been to a dozen places in Brooklyn. I could not find it. It's easier to find in places like Villa Bata and bakeries, but not pizzerias. So, uh, yeah, even though it's not an eight, a high seven, delicious flavor. Come on down to this place, guys. They make everything. Their freaking rice balls look good. Their rolls looked on point. Nice portly rolls filled and stuffed. Prices are generous. A nice outdoor seating area. The owner is mad cool. Everybody in there is from the old neighborhood. Be well, guys. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And hit the bell, too. So you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. Until next time, guys. Keep those bellies full. Preferably with some rare, authentic sfinchon. And this is Antonio signing off.